Oh, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. You wouldn't have to be a bell, would you? That's me. I take it that makes you Cal? Ah, uh, yeah. Nice way to get my attention. Uh, thanks. I wish I could say it was planned. Uh. Thanks. Want anything else, Cal? Uh, water's fine for now. Appreciate it. All right. First name basis. The waiters here are the nicest people I've ever met. I wasn't aware we were meeting on your home field. I like to think of it as a place I can trust. And what about me? Well, if I can get you to trust me, the cafe shouldn't be a problem. That's a good start. <laughs> so, we should probably start by addressing the elephant in the room. Yeah. Well, I'm assuming we will swipe right in each other for the same reason. I think so. Not everyone lists being mortal on their dating profile. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say that we both found each other mutually attractive. Not when you say it like that. Noted. But yeah, being immortal isn't something you typically see on people's profile. So... What? Are you? Are you? I asked you first. Oh, well, what would you like to hear? The truth. Okay, well... Yeah. I mean, I'm only going on 600 years strong, but given the fact I haven't physically aged in the past 25... Wait, so those pictures on your profile were actually from the 19th and 20th century? <laughs> you should see the portrait I had made in the 18th century. Do you actually have one? No joke. <laughs> this is usually where the ladies get up and leave. How many times have you done this? Well, not too many. Believe it or not, being alive 600 years only makes you more picky about the people you interact with. Trust me, I know. How so? Well, because I've met a lot of people in the 600 years I've been alive. Are you messing with me? Are you messing with me? No. But I can't tell if you are. I'm being completely honest. So am I. You're actually 600 years old. I'm 612 to be exact. That's how old I am. Oh, wait, what year were you born? 1509. What day? April 25th. We have the exact same birthday. I'm gonna need to see that painting. The light is on the opposite side of the room. <laughs> Why would they design it like that? Actually, that was my fault. What do you mean? Yeah, when I built this place, I was trying to help my nyctophobia by putting all the lights on the other end of the room so I had to cross over. <laughs> Wait, you built this house? Yeah. <laughs> of course I had help. I mean, being immortal doesn't come along with being super strong or having unlimited stamina, unfortunately. Kind of embarrassing. Why? Well, I'm not very photogenic. My friends at the time pressured me into doing it. I think you look pretty handsome. Hmm. Yeah, not too shabby. Can I hold it? Oh, of course. You got this painted at the amphitheater that they renovated, right? Yeah. How'd you know? That's my signature. You wanna get some air? I know a good place. You know, I always wondered how I'd react if there was someone else like me. And? I don't know. I thought I'd know what to say by now. I hadn't really considered it, really. Really? 600 years and it never crossed your mind? Well, I mean, everyone thinks you're gonna live forever. I guess it's the end that no one can fully comprehend. 
So, when did you find out? Oh, well, probably when I turned 100 and realized I still didn't have a single gray hair. A hundred? That long? <laughs> well, obviously, I, I suspected, but I always told myself if I was going to start aging, it would at least happen by age 100. Born the same day, the same year. You know, I really hope we're not, like, siblings separated at birth or anything. Uh, well, where are you from? New Zealand. Please tell me you're not from there, too. No, 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 no. No, I wish. Uh, I'm from Russia, actually. Oh, wow. Uh, that must have been interesting in the 16th century. Yeah, that's one word for it. What, we're sitting already? Oh, I am a 612-year-old man. I'm a 612-year-old woman. <laughs> <sighs> so, what brought you to America? Yeah, same as everyone. Talk of a whole new world is hard to resist, I guess. Yeah, same. Yeah. Same. Uh, born on the same day, moved to the same town for two centuries. Fate or coincidence? Well, I mean, 600 years is a long time to meet each other. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I've only been using a dating profile for about a few months. <laughs> You ready to walk again? No rush. I'm actually pretty comfortable. Well, I'm ready to walk. Charming. Better than your partner. I didn't know it was a competition. It's not. Unless you want it to be. Someone? Uh, well, uh, it was a little dark. Well, I don't know. I mean, you could have lived out a full sentence and gotten out by now. Good to know who I'm getting involved with. Well, in that case, uh... No. No, I haven't. Have you? So what did you have to ask? You asked me. I know, I know. Just messing with you. So how many people have you dated? Oh God, well, um, there was a time when it was a lot. Then, I don't know, kind of got bored of people. You made you decide to try again? Got bored of being bored? I think a lot of people are scared of dying alone. But, I mean, everyone does that. Who gives a shit if people remember you after you die? dead. So we may well be too. You don't strike me as religious. Nope. What, do you have one? Yeah. I'm the only one who can actually say he's been to every home game. Dedicated fan. Well, if it doesn't prove my dedication, I don't know what will. <laughs> Slow down, cowboy, but good one. Maybe we can catch a sunrise. A lot of climbing lately. Your legs will thank you later. You must come up here a lot. Just a lot of practice going up and down the stairs at home. Home? Yeah, a couple miles from here, that way. Do you mind if I... Uh, yeah, go ahead. You good? Uh, it's just... Uh, oh, how long have you been smoking? About 100, 120 years or so. And no effects? No. How these have ever been? Because I've got sick before, so I didn't assume, you know. Well, I mean, it all regenerates, right? We're immortal. <laughs> Here. 
case you want to try. Thanks. Want to head back for just getting hot? Sure. We could go back to my place. Mine's probably closer. Well, I could use some air conditioning. What'd they say after you uh, get in age a couple decades? Usually just move on before anyone starts to notice. You have any friends that know? Yeah, they're uh, a couple. They're not around anymore. So. How have you managed to keep it a secret this whole time? Well, probably similar to you. Uh, people will be surprised how little others notice about them or chalk everything up to coincidence. I guess that's true. Move around enough and nobody really bats an eye. Social Security might catch up to me in a couple of decades. Yeah, I might have to do another identity change. You've changed it before. Is your name actually Cal? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's, I switched it back around the turn of the 20th century, I think. Why did you change it in the first place? Something wrong? It was just a different time back then, you know? Back when? It was just easier to run away from your problems. Me if I had. You asked me if I killed anyone. And, uh, well, I mean, I, it was, I just want to let you know, it was self defense. Uh, and I don't want to scare you, I just. It was back in the 1700s, back in Russia. Uh, it was during my sewing phase. I had a, a sewing shop set up in a town nearby St. Petersburg. Um, and there was this path I would take to get supplies. Every time I went down the path, there was this man. His name was Victor. He would be sitting under a tree begging for money. particularly wealthy at the time, but I knew what it was like to be poor. So whenever I passed by, I would drop a couple coins in his hat when I could. And he seemed to appreciate it. Then one day, it was particularly hot, and when I passed by, there he was, just out. So I ran to give him some water, and when he came to, I just, I invited him to have dinner at my place. And he seemed grateful. I mean, he ate everything I put in front of him. I even let him stay in my guest bed that night. But in the middle of the night, I woke up to a noise and went to the kitchen to see what it was. There Victor was. Stacking all my food onto my work station. I tried to talk to him, but he went crazy. He came at me with a knife. And in this struggle, I ended up stabbing him. 
that was around the time when I decided to move to America. Fresh start. What you thinking about? Nothing. Um, just... I don't know. You, know. you live 600 years and... I think you've seen it all. Experienced it all. Yeah. Puts a lot of things into perspective. How so? Well, I mean... If you've lived so long, things are less... pressing. I mean, everyone, especially now, they just want instant gratification. And I'm sure I was like that when I was younger, but looking back at it now, I just feel stupid for it. Well, I mean, to be fair, everyone else has a lot less time than we do. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Have you ever been in love? I think so. It doesn't sound like it. Well, I mean, love's hard to quantify after living so long. Well, why does it have to be quantified? Shouldn't it just be built? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, sure. It's just. Everyone in my life, my family, my friends, so many long gone. And I can't even picture their faces or remember what their voices sounded like. And if it was love, shouldn't there be more? to everyone. Our memories can only go so far back before it gets mixed up with all the new stuff. Yeah. Look, I... I gotta go to work in a couple of hours. Can I drive you home? Yeah. Uh, that'd be great. I really enjoyed this. Yeah, me too. I'll call you tomorrow? Yeah, great. Hey, Cal. Uh, I wanted to say thank you for last night. Also, thanks for, you know, going along with the whole immortal thing. It's nice sometimes to pretend to be someone else, you know? Or something else. Especially with that story you told and everything, and I almost bought it, you were telling it so well. The painting was a nice touch too, I had to do my own improvisation there as well.
Thank you.